Greetings, family, friends, and survivors. Well, it says 4 or 14, so we're about four and a half years close to it. And you can't see any sulfation at all. I do see moss, and moss is normal. That's the shedding of the plate material. And in a car, where you have the vibration that'll fall to the bottom of the case and renewable energy when they don't move at all you can see moss build up but if you rock the battery back and forth real gently it just kind of goes back into solution and then settles again down on top of the separators other than that you know they look great inside and it's been difficult finding the right voltage set point for these batteries I got a hold of interstate and they told me well they're 30 volts for your absorb on a 24 volt system and I could never get my specific gravity up the way it was supposed to be and I would really struggle uh, to maintain the specific gravity at 30 volts so I found an old old posting from another engineer that was talking about this specific battery and he was saying it was 31 well I finally got a hold of a uh, engineer from interstate I still have the email and he said oh no 30 volts is right and I said are you sure for a 2014 battery he goes oh no 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 I thought you were talking about a brand new 2018 battery no in in 14 they used a different uh, battery chemistry and 31 volts was the right voltage. Well, thanks for clarifying that. So that's where I've been uh, absorbed for my system at 31 volts. And as soon as I made that change, the specific gravity uh, came up to snuff real quick without effort. And I was able to cut an hour, hour and a half off of the absorb voltage time and since then everything's just been running really smooth I don't even think about what's going on up here literally all summer um, I just come up every oh, 45 days or so and look at the water and look at the cabling and see if there's any corrosion growing on anything and I really don't even come up here during the day to see it'll go a week without me knowing what's going on up here but when I go and look at all of the data loggers I find out we've come to a full charge every day and, and everything's fine so the reason I made this video is because a good friend of mine Chris Chris do-it-yourselfer who has an excellent system. He knows what he's doing. He's installed his system correctly and operates it very uh, conservatively. And he had some batteries fail uh, prematurely. And that's really scary for all of us that are living off grid to hear stuff like that. <clears throat> And he's got really good batteries, supposedly, a Trojans. Now, the only reason why I bought the Interstate was because I couldn't afford the Trojans. That's the truth. In our area, the Trojans were about $100 a battery more. Now, if I'm back east, if I'm east of the Continental Divide, I can actually get the Trojan batteries for about $70 less than I paid for these interstates. But out here on the West Coast, it's not like back East. There, there's not a lot going on out here battery manufacturer-wise. You've pretty much got one battery uh, available out here. And if you're close to a main distributor, you can get a good price. But just about everything is $100 per battery more out here on the West Coast. And so I didn't buy Trojan because I couldn't afford them. And I think we all dream of Roll Surrit or uh, Solar One, some of the nicer batteries. Over on the coast, there's a guy that's got a set of uh, Roll Surrit batteries. Uh, I think they're the 5000 series. 
They're a 20-year battery. He's got 10 years on them, and they still act like new, and he's selling them for a third price, a third of new, but they have 10 years on them. Uh, but the specific gravity is spot on, and he'll load test them and everything for you. So that's significant savings, but that is a very old battery. But at least some battery companies are going the distance. Uh, that series battery, I know the other people that have gotten 20 years out of them. So uh, not all batteries are created equal. But I do know people that have uh, gone 20 years on an L16. And I know them personally, seen the system. And actually, one time, 18 years out of, a, I think, the 8D series, which is completely unheard of. So it is possible. So what happened with the Trojan batteries, uh, for my friend, I don't know, because I've watched a system, and, he, and he's doing it right, and he's not uh, taking the batteries. His uh, depth of discharge is not very deep. I think he takes them down to about 70% state of charge and then they get filled back up every day. Well, that battery was designed for a 50% DOD daily and still should have gone six years. And I don't know why it didn't. And that's, that's scary for us. But what do you do? Um, I've got other friends that have AGMs and they have problems with theirs that maybe AGMs with this new uh, uh, nanocarbon technology they can actually outlast a, a FLA that's a possibility but I have got another friend that had a charge controller go bad and by the time they got home from town uh, they had overgassed their AGMs and blew an entire battery bank they didn't blow up but the the cases uh, looked like they were balloons they were filled like they were overfilled or something and of course it warped plates and everything else they can't handle overcharging at all so if you have a piece of solar equipment a charge controller fail you can lose a set of batteries before you even get home where with flooded lead acid you can abuse the snot out them. all you're going to be doing is gassing and losing water so there's trade-offs to everything and i'm not sure what the answer is of course, what I'd like to have is uh, lithium ion. I think the Nissan Leaf uh, would be my favorite at the top. Uh, Chevy Volt's a good one. And the smart cars actually, I think, have Tesla batteries in them. And they're pretty good. And I'm not afraid of those at all. I just can't afford them. But the price is coming down. And I did get a quote for... Uh, Chevy Volt battery, I think it was a 13, 12, 13 kilowatt, something like that. And uh, the newer ones are more kilowatts than that. This was like a 2012 car, 2013 car. And it was shipped for 1250 bucks. Well, the year before, that was 2500 bucks. So the price is coming down. And they're saying by 2025, there's going to be so many electric cars, like the whole state of California, by a certain day, every car sold new in the state has to be a hybrid. So that's going to generate a lot of surplus batteries, tons and tons of surplus batteries in the next five years. Now, that's really, really quick. So if I can get my batteries to last just another five years, there's going to be a lot of batteries. Red One report said there was like 10,000, uh, 10,500 or so surplus batteries generated per year that get kicked out of the car industry that are used, they're good for renewable energy. And they're expect, expecting that by 2025 to go up to 1 million. That's huge. 10,500 batteries to a million batteries per year. So some major things are on the horizon that are going to change. And so really the trick for some of us is to hold on to the batteries we have. If we can get another five years out of them, I think the price is going to come way down on the lithium ion. And maybe they can work some of the bugs out of them.
anyway that's my two cents worth uh, I'm really hoping that I'm gonna get eight years out of these I've got to get eight years out of them or it's gonna be a financial hardship if we don't it's twenty six hundred dollars worth of batteries and oh if they fail here at the halfway point um, don't know what I'm gonna do we'll do something though it always works out anyway just reporting to you some of my findings and things that I've talked with other people and observe and some future things on the horizon that are actually looking pretty good for renewal renewable energy meanwhile back at the ranch I've got to put this garden to sleep firewood is in and I think we're got some weather coming up here in the next week so sometime in the next three or four days we need to uh, put this thing to rest go ahead and harvest the rest of it and get it put up and say good night to the the garden for the year all right hope everybody's doing well have a very blessed day